Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul. We're going to be starting a new game series here real quick. Now, as you know, I've got a regular playthrough series that's been going on for a little bit now. I've also got a Iron Man permadeath, no starter ship, no HUD challenge that's been going on forever and is going to continue until we finally find something. I'm going to do another permadeath run today. I'm going to do another Iron Man challenge. So we're going to go over here to custom and we're going to go permadeath, of course. And we're going to make everything at its maximum setting, of course. So this is extreme settings. We are disabling the tutorial so that we don't have to deal with certain things in regards to that. Not that this makes a difference. The reputation and standing gain really doesn't make a difference. But we're also going to lock out the difficulty changes. So we can't come back to this. I'm going to do this one with the HUD on. But I know that some people do like the permadeath challenges. So we're going to go ahead and do this one. Uh, again, no starter ship. Challenge. Otherwise known as the Iron Man challenge. So this is a standard Iron Man challenge at maximum permadeath settings. And I hope you enjoy it. So as this slowly rolls its way in and my older graphics card tries to keep up with it. You're going to see it glitch a little bit from time to time. I apologize, but it's just getting itself a little bit warmed up right now. There'll be rehydration scenes and places where I'm going to actually grab my cup of water and drink. There we go, and uh, let's see how well we can do this one. Should be kicking on any second. Here we go. And we're right into it. Ooh, cold planet this time. Okay. No visor analysis, but that's okay. We've got everything we need. Let's just take a quick peek around here. Okay. Animal, we don't want to bother him. That's not going to help me. Let's get some carbon. So, if carbon's our first thing. Now, your, your character is usually facing in the direction that your ship is located. So, keeping in mind that... Um... We don't really want to head in that direction. I'm going to head a little closer to the plants as I get them because I want to be able to hit them a little harder. I want to get a few hundred of this carbon because we're going to need all of it that we can get, of course. This is really good, though. This is really, really good. We got a good amount of carbon from the get-go. And we're definitely going to need some ferrite. A lot of it. And then try to find some place where we can duck out for a little while. There we go. All right. So hopefully everybody is enjoying their weekend. I'm going to put these videos out over the weekends. So there'll be one no HUD challenge and one regular challenge that I'll be going through. Yeah, I know that my thermal protection is falling. So let's head in this direction. We have anything in the sky we can use as guidance. There's a planet there. So what we're going to do is we're going to head in the left direction from the planet. And it looks like we get some really high... Wow, that's really high mountains here. That's going to be handy in our viewing. Okay, down we go. We definitely need some of this. Because we're going to need some life support gels for a little while until we start coming across more um, oxygen and stuff like that. And we're out. But we have plenty. So that's one thing we're not going to be hurting for is carbon. Some of the planets I was hurting for carbon and having to scrounge. Here we don't seem to be in too bad a shape. All right. We'll rearrange everything as we go. We've got 100 in there. That'll, that's a good starting point. Again, we need some more ferrite. How much do we have of that? 62. We should have enough now. Let me see. Everything's dropping slowly at the moment. Oh, we need 75. Okay. Ah, look at that. 
That's a good find. All these nice rocks and that condensed carbon in the distance. That's going to be awesome. Although I think they've changed it. Let me see. Nope. We don't need advanced lasers to get it still. Just the big ones. Alright. We should be able to repair it now. So, our scanner is ready to go. Let's put the mining beam over here. Let's get an analysis visor ready to go. We need a carbon nanotube, which we should be able to make. Uh, let's see. Carbon, carbon. There you go. There you are. And there we go. That should get us going. We could use a terrain manipulator. I'll get it put in right now. I don't know if I have the resources to make what I need. I think I can make at least a dihydrogen jelly. Yep, we could. Okay, let's put that in. Okay, we're all set here. So that should get us where we're going. So it looks like... Where's the planet at? It's that way. We're going to be heading in more of a southerly direction. Let's get up to the top of this thing here and take a quick peek around. We've got a building right there. Nothing really the way we came, and don't forget we're going to be taking into consideration... It looks like we're heading away from our ship now, too. That's good. We're going to take into consideration using plants native to the region. Oops, that's not what I was trying to do. I always want to get more of this, because anytime we damage something, we need ferrite. All right, let's get up to that campsite real fast, shall we? All right, let's go. Be nice if it is a building, because we're down to 25%. Need to find some caves if we can. Okay, so these are going to be our hazardous floor for the location, huh? Okay. And ooh, looks like we got some sodium right in front of us. Good, good, good. One, some here, and some right over there. Good. That'll get us a little bit charged. And I heard some ships fly over. A ship. Okay, not really going to count much for a ship. Where is that place I found? Am I going the wrong way now? This way. Okay, good. Already getting a little bit out of whack here. Now, I'm not going to set a timer. We're just going to do these in 30-minute increments. Ah, this doesn't help me at all. A cave would be nice. But you know what we can look for? We should be able to look for humming sacks or something to that effect that can hopefully help us. Frostwort isn't going to help us at all. Alright. Scan. Sodium. Okay, hey, that got us charged a little bit. We need more. Okay. Is that what I think it is? No, it's copper. Oh, there's some more sodium. It looks like right there. This is going to be our... Recharge of choice as we try to do the best we can. Again, we're going to head in this general direction. There it is. We'll get some more oxygen because we're going to be running low on that soon. Okay, good. Right now we're in survival mode. Come on. 
Okay, what do we get? Just nanites, it looks like. We don't really need these. I'll just hang on to it for now. There. Okay. There we go. Where's that planet at? Did we already misplace it? Okay, well, let's get up to the high point here. can't really get to it right now. Well, let's worry about that later. We need a lot more sodium. Ah, those, those guys will help us, right? I have a couple moments to see if they're going to change direction on me. Come on. They're going in the direction I'm going. Good. Not much I can do, because it's a steep slope anyway. Okay. It's nice to be at the top of this thing, but unfortunately I can't see around it. <laughs> okay. So, what do we got? planet that we were looking for is that way. So we're heading this direction, which is slightly south-south-west, I'm guessing. Uh, we got plants down there, which is frostwort. I'm going to head in this general direction to this thing. And we're going to do a quick scan and see if we can find some more things that we can use, like this. Shield is still recharging. My scanner is still recharging. Very slow charge on those now. Oh boy. I gotta find myself a cave or something. What I may start doing... Is this. All it does is stabilize me. Oh boy. Hopefully I don't exit this area. I'll have to wait for the scanner to get up to a certain part. Oh boy. Okay, so we're kind of doomed here. Alright, let's take a look around and see if we can find anything that looks like a cave-like structure underground. Okay. Let's go back the way we came. Salt. Copper. Very cash. Got a whole bunch of frost wart over here. That doesn't help us at all. Buried cash again. Although, of course, the cash that we can get, if we can find some, some stuff, that'll help. But we're about to get damaged, whether we like it or not. So let's wait for the scanner to get a little more active. Because this could turn into a very short run. Looks like we have some sodium to my left. Okay, ready? It's gonna hurt. Nope. You bet I can't gather that up, huh? The nighttime will be a little better. I already hurt myself once.
There we go. See, nighttime, even though it's colder. Ah, that's sodium right down there. Come on. We need a cave. Is this a cave? It looks like it is. Okay, good. Let's get into the cave. Alright, so just being on the edge here is a good spot. We're going to go ahead and gather up this cobalt so we can make ourselves some batteries. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and scan it. Who knows what else is in there. Maybe it'll have some... Well, copper's okay. It's not great. And look at that. we got some poisonous plants right next to me. gather all this up because that's sodium and that's oxygen those are things we need hopefully our beam doesn't overheat there we go excellent that should get us a couple batteries. Let's see. Ferrite dust. Cobalt. Okay, good deal. Ooh, that was getting kind of close there, huh? I'll have to check our exoseat and see, see, just make sure there's nothing specifically damaged. Because that could be a problem. Okay, there we go. That should gather up everything I need. Now, these marrow bulbs uh, that we have here will be very, very handy. Because I could get some sodium out of them if I can make myself a refiner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, good deal. All right, let's take this moment to rearrange some stuff. Looks like nothing in my exosuit's been damaged. That's good news. Nothing's damaged over there. Okay, let's rearrange some stuff over here. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to put the oxygen there for now. Copper, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with yet. We'll think about it. Okay. Just put that there. All right, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, so we got 11 batteries. Okay, 18 batteries. What we will need is... It would be nice to have sodium along the way, but we need some ferrite dust. We're going to get some more of that. We definitely want to get ourselves some more carbon. Let's gather up some of that just to play it safe. All right, we got condensed carbon already. We got a little bit of oxygen. Okay, and which way are we going? We're going that way. Okay. Let's take a look. Ooh, we got sweet root. Sweet root is handy. Because the foods will keep us going until we can find better stuff to help us out. There doesn't seem to be anything in this direction as far as uh, shelters are concerned. That's going to hurt. Hopefully I didn't break anything. I don't have those blow bag things for oxygen, so I'll have to be very careful. Go. 
and we'll still gather up sodium as we go until we don't necessarily need it anymore. And this is the reason why nighttime is a good time. Because we can pick up things like that. Let's just see. Oh, looks like a whole sodium patch down there. Okay, so we're gonna go through, we're gonna eat through batteries like crazy here. We definitely need to get oxygen because we're not gonna be doing too many life support shells just yet. All right, looks like we got a humming sack over here, which means we have a cave. Well, let's get all this sodium, this lovely, lovely sodium. We used this earlier. Okay, that gathers it all. And where was that humming sack egg? Right down there. So we have a cave right here someplace. Let's take a quick peek. It should be around here someplace. Pretty sure we didn't break it. Right here. Okay, so it's just to my right. There it is. And we're in. And we'll recover. Excellent. Now these will give us some albumin pearls, which are worth some money. Brings back some PTSD from the speed runs we were doing with the last update, uh, last expedition, pardon me. Okay. Okay, we actually picked up these pearls, it just doesn't look like we did, so we should have, yeah, see we got a good amount of them. We may not keep these, we're going to hang on to them for now. It's just a starting point. So this gives us hazard protection, as you can see. I'm going to dump some oxygen in here, get our charge back up. Okay, so now it is time to start looking very seriously for um, some hardware, some buried technology and things like that, because those are worth a lot. Plus, what we can get out of the broken machinery up above might be shields for what we have. There we go. Just a little extra cobalt for along the way. Alright, that should be enough. There we go. That's good. So. Alright. So which direction are we headed? We're heading this direction. Let's go back to the hole that we dug. And we'll work our way out. And let's head on. Hold on just a second. Let's take a quick peek at where we're going. We've got some buried technology right there. Let's head for that, shall we? And a little more oxygen up there. We'll go ahead and grab it while we're here. Ah, looks like we have some some stuff laying on the ground over here. Let's see what we've got for us. Um, why can't I get into that? There we go. I'm gonna take it for now. We might think about it later. We'll see. Okay, some more condensed carbon. That is excellent. And we're gonna use that little trick we learned. So we don't have to dig, we just go into first person mode. There we go. And it gets, oh, it gave us four of it, nice. Uh, let's see, so these we'll have to think about. That's really not worth anything to me, so we'll get rid of it. We might use this to make something, we'll see. Okay. 
this is the direction we're going. So... Well, let's just keep going in this direction. We're quickly reaching the end of our first episode. These go pretty quickly for the most part. Just a heads up. They're not terrifically fast, but for the most part, because we can see around us, we want to check out every single unidentified building that we come across. Like, there's a building right there. So we'll be heading there, and I think that's where we're going to call our first episode. Okay. We want to charge it right away, because it'll only use up one battery. If we drop below 20%, it'll take two. Just keep that in mind. Well, I didn't miss that during the, HUD, the no HUD challenge, let me tell you. She gets annoying after a while. Just kidding. I'm going to gather up some ferrite because I keep forgetting I needed to pick up some. I haven't made a refiner yet. Okay, that's good for now. Let's get on to our building. We picked up several geodes, so... Oh, looks like a nice little building. That's good. Some place we can hang out in. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. This is a good place to stop. Okay. While we're here... There we go. Another four. Nice. This one is completely and utterly empty. Let's go to the other one. There we go. This looks more homely. We'll get some nanites that we are probably never going to need. And navigation data we'll never use. Excellent. Alright. So we're doing pretty good here. Let's go ahead and open those up a little bit. These are going to be life support. Excellent. Use some of those up real quick. Alright, so we got some ferrite dust now. That is excellent. We don't need all this uh, silicon. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of some of that. All right, so we actually have enough that we can create a metal plate. I think we have enough oxygen to make a portable refiner. We do. And we'll, for the metal plate that we just created, we should have enough of this to make up for it. And let's go get some more carbon. Okay, I think we're in really good shape for a good start to this whole little thing here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some more carbon to end out our episode here. We're on a frozen world. I think we are now going to be able to survive. And that is a good thing. So now that we're able to survive, we can gather up the resources we need and start looking for a ship. I'm preferring a crashed ship at this point because obviously I don't have any money whatsoever. Might end up with a couple million at the most after the things I've picked up so far. So, and now that we're just about out of charge on our mining laser. And there we go. Depleted. We'll use condensed carbon. Okay. There's also a life support. So just in case, hey, another microprocessor we don't use. Get some more ferrite dust out of this. And a Corvax casing we'll never use either. And there's our save point. All right. So let's call this episode here. We're going to be uh, going through my inventory and shutting it down here shortly. Um, this nice little place that has pretty little plants in it. That's very cool. Uh, let's go up to the door. There we go. And we're going to do a quick camera shot from here. Of yet another episode of permadeath mode. 
So here we are, folks. We're going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you for watching this episode. Go ahead and hit that like button. That's that little thumbs up thing at the bottom. Yeah, go ahead and click that if you would, please. I really appreciate it. Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Um, got a lot of videos, a lot of ideas I'll be coming out with. I'll be doing some, uh, some ship challenges. I've been looking for a great Sentinel ship to make my own. And uh, I've got a couple that I've, I'm really enjoying right now, but I'm looking for more. And I'm always looking for a nice S-Class multi-tool with everything right where it needs to be. Uh, and I'm looking for my own yet again. I'm trying not to steal anybody else's. So we'll see what we can do about that. And I will post my findings as I come across them. So feel free to hit that subscribe button. And again, if you make any comments on the channel, please do so. Please put some comments in on the video. I always like to reply to your comments, uh, especially if you've got ideas or questions. Glad to re reply to you folks. Well, we'll see you in the next episode, which hopefully will be out very shortly. Take care, everybody.